you know, maybe the name of this song is how uh, a lot of people probably think of their financial future. They came here to forget. They came here to forget. Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Jack Branch, located in Covington, Louisiana. And I wanted to pose this question. You know, I did those six reasons why, why people, you know, maybe should truly consider why they're doing what they're doing. Why they're doing what they're doing. And Josh, by the way, I owe you a call. Give you a shout. Hope your beach trip was good. But how much, I want you to answer those that are on this call. How much of the money inside your qualified plans is yours? How much of the money in a simple, a SEP, an IRA, 401k, profit sharing, TSP, how much of the money in these accounts is actually yours? Anyone? Nobody really wants to, uh, you know, figure this out. Well, I'm here to tell you that the only answer that you could give is, I don't know. I don't know. You know, and I got this hat on kind of like the mafia because that's truly what it's going to be like. You know, if you were to take a loan from an individual, what are the two things you'd want to know? You'd want to know the rate and also how they're going to pay it back. And I think it's fascinating that uh, most of the time people don't even think about this. They just throw money into these accounts, have no idea how much is theirs, how much is the government's. We're told by our CPA that we're going to be in a lower bracket. And I'm here to tell you that if you are truly planning to be in a lower bracket, you're working with the wrong people. <laughs> you should always want to aspire to be in the top bracket. The top bracket means you are cash flowing more money. So yeah, although it may sound enticing that you're going to be in a lower bracket, that's a failure plan and one that most of the time isn't a wise thing to put yourself in that situation. So no one's ans ask, answered the question. So Mark, I'll ask you. Kurt Weehunt, I'll ask you. Uh, David, Wendy Moore. I mean, how much of the money inside of your accounts, your qualified plan is yours? No one is going to answer. Most of the time people say, well, all of it, Jack. All of it. And I'll ask him the question again. I say, how much of the money inside your qualified plan is truly yours? And the only answer they can give me is, I don't know. And so if you truly believe that um, the government is going to take care of you and be a good partner to be in business with, and you continue down that path. You know, it's funny. I even set these plans up a lot of years, you know, I went and, and having to go back and educate people on what I didn't know, what I now know is kind of a, a hard reality. There was a colleague of mine the other day I saw here on Facebook that he was, you know, um, I'm not going to say names, but he was, he was, uh, there you go, Craig, that he was, he was commenting how his firm was one of the top in the nation, top 40, 401k people. So how I understand that now is not something to be proud of, but he's the top person truly setting people up to pay the maximum taxes possible. You know, it's, it's interesting that uh, the wealthy, the banks, the executives, they don't do anything like the middle class and upper middle class uh, do. They do things totally different. And it's our job, I think, as we educate ourselves and we start to really uh, open our eyes to really the game being played, that we're not being duped, that um, that we truly are in control of. You earned it and paid tax on the only thing you should pay is tax on the interest made in the future. Well, I wish that was the case, Kurt. Um, some accounts, that's true. Uh, inside uh, brokerage accounts or uh, accounts that are taxed sometimes, that's true, but that's not the case in a qualified plan. 
the qualified plan, you can't calculate how much you owe on a loan that they won't even tell you the terms and interest, yet everybody takes that loan every day. And it fascinates me that, you know, we as citizens have allowed this to go down the way we've allowed it to go down. So, Hope y'all have a good day, and you know, just wanted to share this. I was eating lunch, and I was thinking about something uh, to share with you guys, kind of as a follow-up to the six reasons why investing in a 401k might not be in your best interest. If you like this, definitely share it. Um, if you don't like it, you can make angry faces. You know, there's that thing you can tap and go, uh. But the reality is, if it's not important to you, it can't be important to me. If it's not important to you, it can't be important to me. So there's certain people that are going to get taxed over and over and over on the same dollar. They're going to be taxed on Social Security that was meant to be tax-free. And it's up to you to educate yourself and learn about ways to utilize the tax code instead of the tax code and the, and the uh, let's just put that back up, and the boys... The boys coming to get their money. So don't find yourself being duped. It's time for you to do what you can do to put yourself not in control of the wolves, but you control your financial destiny. My name is Jackie B, Captain Jack. And if you want to work your whole life, hey, that's your business. If not, that's my business. Don't let the big bad wolf take away your wealth.